Hey guys, I'm the Terrible Gamer, and for this episode, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, generally, I go by like just doing desktop builds and stuff like that, and showing you, you know, like parts and stuff like that. Uh, for this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to do an all-in-one PC. So um, I found out recently that it's actually possible for you to um, uh, build your own all-in-one PC. So if you ever seen like a um, um, iMac or something like that, it's just a it has all the computer components on the inside with the screen, everything's all integrated. Well, not integrated, you probably open it up, but um, yeah, everything is just there. Um, so this is a build similar to this, so um, you would be taking like a case like, let me find it right here. Uh, buy from Amazon, so it's just um, a loop 21.5 inch, so it's the monitor and everything, all in one L5 uh, chassis. So it puts a motherboard, CPU, um, heat sink and fan, uh, just everything in there and it becomes an all-in-one PC so um, I think that's pretty interesting I'll close that. Uh, the processor I chose for this is a Intel Core i7 3770S so which is a scaled down version of the um, just 7770 or the K series uh, this one just has a lower volt I mean lower power consumption and just lower clock speeds it's not very overclockable which I wouldn't really recommend because you know um, it's kind of confi confined inside the case and might heat up a little bit so I'm not sh uh, sure if this would specifically work this processor if it'd get too hot but I think it would work um, uh, the CPU cooler is included with the chassis this is the motherboard you'd want to be getting open it up here uh, this is for su uh, such things like that so it has like the CPU right there um, has USB 3.0 which is really nice um, you need a specific motherboard like this, a mini ITX, so it has the uh, dual channel DDR3, the, um, what's it called, uh, laptop kind of stuff, so that's the kind of memory you'd want to get. Normal DDR3 like this would not fit in a motherboard like this. Let's close that up. Um, next, uh, 16 gigs of G-Skill uh, memory. This is the best I could do for the money. Like this, um, definitely you can scale down like almost everything if you want to. I'll show you the essentials because this is around twelve hundred dollars. I mean, eleven hundred dollars, um, or no, around twelve hundred dollars. Um, and definitely you can get a lower end CPU. You could always get less RAM. You don't have to get this expensive SSD. So yeah, sys memory is good. It fits up both uh, DIMMs. It's uh, six hundred megahertz. Um, just good dual channel memory for a laptop or you know in this case an all-in-one PC 16 gigs so more than enough let's close a debt um, next is the uh, the hard drive or you know like the you know this, uh, for this build just be an SSD you could get an internal I mean, you could get a like a laptop hard drive which would uh, be about the same size and you can have like you know a much much bigger uh, hard drive capacity, but this is a solid state drive, so everything boots a lot quicker. And um, yeah, so you, if you wanted to, you could just get like a laptop hard drive. Make sure it's 7200 RPM. I stress that a lot. Um, and then you know whatever bigger than this. And also you can get a cheaper or more expensive SSD with more or less space. You know whatever you want. It's up to you. Next, this is kind of uh, essential. It's just a um, a Wi-Fi adapter that would fit in a mini, uh, mini ITX kind of thing like this, you just, you know, just Wi-Fi adapter, you plug it into the PCI slot and you get Wi-Fi, which the the motherboard uh, in this build does have an Ethernet, so you don't always have to have that in, you get, I mean, you don't always have to have Wi-Fi, you can always plug it into Ethernet. Next is the op operating system, up to you, like I said, I just chose uh, Windows 8, I don't really have to clip on it, click on it there. Uh, because you know it's more of like an all-in-one system. Um, you could also choose like um, Windows 7, whatever you want. Uh, I already wanted the case. And here is just a. Um, oops, I just opened it up to there. Anyways, this. Yeah, here's the link. And this is just the optical drive. Um, like I said before, you can always just get like a USB optical drive, and it works just the same. This one would just be integrated. It's twenty-six dollars, and it's you know pretty good. Um, in total, this uh, this would I think actually is benchmarks. So it's a very very fast machine. If it doesn't overheat, like I'm pretty sure when it overheats, it's most definitely good good enough sufficient you know um, cooling. The only downside to this build is that the um, there's no room for any kind of dedicated video card. So you'd have to rely on the Intel um, i7 3770s's um, integrated HD uh, 4000 graphics. So it's 
pretty terrible on that side, but you're not you're probably not going to be using this for gaming because it's just an all-in-one. If you're going to be wanting a gaming machine for like $1200, you're def definitely want to going to go with like a desktop. Um, so yeah, uh, here are some pictures from, I, I got this idea from Reddit, this one guy, um, Happy Evil, I think that's his name, uh, he posted this, um, his build complete on this, on, um, our build a PC, I could probably link it to you, and this, these are some pictures that he made of this, uh, this build that he made, it was a total of around $800, this one I just chose, like, the most expensive, you know, high performance parts I could find for it to keep it under like 1500 and it's uh, 1200 is very reasonable compared to like iMacs which are like 2000 you know for a lot you know worse spec wise so these are just some pictures like there's some um, this is how it would be oriented like the processor goes there big heat pipes going into a, a heat sink and then a fan expelling it that's the only problem I'd see is just not many fans but you know you get ventilation and it's not as easy as building a desktop. I see some other like PCI stuff. I think you just plug it in though. It, it's a kit. Probably comes with everything you would need. It just you might need to be a little bit more um, knowledgeable on the subject of this kind of stuff of building and you know and troubleshooting and stuff like that. But I think it it's it's be pretty easy if you knew what you were doing. Um, in the end, it would kind of look like this. That's just plastic wrapping on it. Um, you'd have like the motherboard, heatsink, processor, RAMs right there hard drive is somewhere under there probably yeah, right there it's just a nice spot to hold your SSD or internal hard drive and yeah that's what it would look like and it looks very nice in my opinion if I were to go with an all-in-one I would build my own so here uh, here it is just uh, $1200 definitely you could choose whatever you want you probably want to go with this motherboard you'd probably want to go with this Wi-Fi adapter and definitely want to go with this um, monitor and chassis because this is the only one I could really find <laughs> Well, I mean, you probably found others, but this one was good. All right. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.